Thank you for joining me in Working With Colour today. My name's Carol, I'm from Adelaide. It's a beautiful summer's day here. And um, I'm going to be doing a funnel pour over the top of a flip cut pour that I just did and I'm not happy with. So what I will be using instead will be metallics, four colours from the El Rado de Palo series. Uh, this is a metallic copper. And this one is metallic ice gold. We have a magnolia and oh, stretching over a palm green and with a little bit of gold. Well, I've got a lot of gold on the canvas, so we'll see what happens. It's still wet, so let's see what mess I can make. I'm just going to do a straight up pour. I'm going to pour it straight into the funnel. And I can't get the camera back anymore. Okie dokie. So let's go. Putting in the copper first. And then I'm going to put in some lovely metallic ice. And then I think we'll do the green and then the magnolia. And I'll just repeat this process until they're all in. And then we'll tilt and see what happens. In the background, I have my friendly babyhood miner. This little bird can't seem to get enough to eat. And he squeaks and he squeaks and he squeaks all day long. Sometimes I feel like pulling my hair out, he gets that noisy. <laughs> now I have the only medium I'm using today is Floetrol and some distilled water. The reason why I use distilled water is because all the metals and tracings have been taken out of it and it doesn't discolour the paint. Usually with opaques I put in some house paint and varnish so they don't dry matte. I think I have heaps of paint here, so we'll be all right. Okay. Now, I'm going to put, even though it's still wet, the black paint that I have left, I'm just gonna put a little bit around so that paint's got somewhere to move quite safely. We will give it a shot. I might just put a touch of gold in there too. Of course there's gold around here because I just love this vibrant gold I have. And we will lift it up, let it spread a little bit, let it sit. You can already see there's some cells popping up even without the silicon. It's quite lovely. Some of the gold has come through, I think. Some of the magenta has as well. Can't see the green yet. It must be a little bit heavier. Whoa, check it out. Oh, look at that. It's like turned into like a flat bar. I don't know if you can see that. Bring that a bit closer. And what happens is we've managed to take a little bit of time here to... Oh, I've got to position this again, don't I? Such a tricky little thing. Whoops, whoops, whoops. It's a daisy. And more thumbs. There we go. And here he is, spreading. 
gonna put some gold. Don't ask me why, I can't tell you, I don't have the answer. I'm just gonna see what happens with it. Now, it's finding the flat ground. It's really, really important to make sure that the surface you're working on is flat using a spirit, spirit level to see how that goes. Now, I'm just gonna tilt this baby this way. Drop a bit more colour over there. And I'm gonna put actually some bit of black in here as well. it all up in this silly first pour I did. I had an idea but it didn't pan out so hey you learn something every day they say. Be able to see this side as I'm tilting. But when I go back, you'll be able to see it. So I'm going to grab my straw and I'm going to flip this little baby this way. Excuse the noise. Crazy, I know. Oh, it just helps the paint flow a little bit better. Maybe the paint underneath it. Go back and forth and back and forth until we get coloured squiggly lines, I suppose. Copper has come through a lot, but I can't see anything of the green. Which is a little bit of a shame, isn't it? Over the edge. Where I need it to be.
I do like my gold. Just called me old fashioned, but I love the bling. <laughs> They say that patience is a virtue. It's a shame I'm not a patient person. So I've got a little bit silent now because that little bird is quietened. It looks like he must have been fed. Okay, it's a funny little number. Green certainly didn't stay on the board, did it? No. This canvas is 18 inches by 18 inches. And I should have calculated out the paint, but I didn't. And because I didn't, I probably didn't have enough to get the cell action I wanted. So instead, I've got a lovely little rainbow piece. Maybe, it's still very pretty. <clears throat> wonder what would happen if I did a little bit of just swiping and then a little bit of tilting I'm not quite sure which way to go about this Take it right from here in the gold. Drag this gold across the top. And I will torch it in a minute. But for the moment, I'm actually quite happy with it. Didn't think I would be, but I don't want to mess it up too much. I might just interrupt this little piece and drag it around. Yeah, that's better. Okie dokie. Get out the torch. Cheers. Maybe life will surprise us and see ourselves. Very, very pretty. Okay, so what I always do in my paintings, instead of signing my name, I have um, decided to put a gold drop onto it in the shape of a little circle. And I think this drop can go right here. Is that big enough? Don't know, probably not. Whoa, steady hands. Okay, so this is my funnel pour. All metallics, only medium, distilled water and flow troll. And I'm more than happy with this piece now. So 
30 hands and all. I'm going to unclip you. Oh, I won't unclip you. I'm going to just bring it around here and show you the painting. And get down a little bit if I can. All right. Back again. It's still very fluid, so I can't do anything with this yet until it dries. So, everybody, please keep safe. Keep happy wherever you are in the world. Look after yourselves and look after each other. And I would like to say goodbye from Working With Colour. My name's Carol from Adelaide. See you next time.